Chippers have made a massive comeback and they're probably the most sought after club around at the minute. And because of that, you might be finding it quite difficult to get your hands on one. Now what I have here is a Cleveland Smart Soul 4 and the Ping Chip R, which are both regarded as being probably the most popular two around on the market currently, which is why in this video I'm going to be putting these head to head against each other just to find out which is the best chipper around at the minute. So let's take a look at how these two chippers compare side by side. So looks wise between these two, or at least looking at them just here, or maybe if they sat in the bag, I would have to say that the Ping does just look a bit nicer. However, when you put them down side by side, I do still think that the ping does look a bit better but i do have to say that the cleveland just looks like it would be a bit easier to use and it would just fill me with a bit more confidence stood over a chip shot than what the ping would do so the lofts on these do vary slightly with the ping coming in at 38.5 degrees and the cleveland coming in at 42 to also compensate for that they've made the shaft a bit smaller in the cleveland than they have compared to the ping and interestingly, actually, the Cleveland does look even shorter because the ferrule on it is actually quite a lot higher up the shaft than it is with the Ping one. And the price point between these two is probably one of the biggest talking points I've seen because there is quite a bit of a difference between them. With the Cleveland RRP at 109 and the Ping RRP at 149, it doesn't sound like there is too much difference, but there probably actually is if they're going to be doing a similar thing. And I think some of the difference in price you can put down to some of the technology that's in the Ping head. So they have the Micromax grooves and the Hydro Pearl finish, something that we've seen in the i525 and the i59 and, if, and whenever we see that in the pin clubs it does seem to boost the price up. So that's how the aesthetics compare, now let's see how they compare up in terms of performance. So before heading out onto the course to do a head to head, I thought I'd just spend a bit of time on the chipping green, just getting a few first impressions for both of the chippers. I must say the Cleveland does feel noticeably shorter than the Ping and it just feels like I'm going to get more control over it just because it is a bit shorter. But for me, the Cleveland just seems to do more what it's supposed to do and it just feels more like a chipper than the Ping does. The Ping just feels a bit more like an iron. So I've probably spent about half an hour now on the chipping green and I don't think I'm any better off than when I first come onto here. I can't really pick much between them and I definitely wouldn't be able to decide on one or the other based on this. So I'm going to head out onto a green somewhere and just do a little head to head match and see which one comes out on top doing that. So I'm going to pick five different spots from around this green and I'm going to hit one ball with each chipper and whichever one gets closest gets a point. And then at the end whichever one has the most points will be crowned the official best chipper of all time. So I'm going to use this Callaway ball for the Cleveland and this Tailmade ball for the Ping. So round number one and I'm going to set the pace with the Ping. Just a bit past the hole. The Cleveland just has to get inside that ball to win a point. Needs to sit. So 1 0 to ping. So this time to make it a bit more fair, I'm going to go with the Cleveland one first. It's not a bad effort, that, you know. Very good shot, if I say so myself. So the ping needs this now to go 2 0 up. A bit thin, nowhere near. So one apiece now, a bit more of a tester this one, absolutely bare ground, a bit of a mound by the bunker just in front of the green and the flag. It's not that bad but it's not that great either. So there's a lot of room for the Cleveland to go 2-1 up here. That was a much better shot, just made better contact and that moves the Cleveland to be 2-1 up. Let's go in with the Cleveland first again, a bit further away this time. That is not a bad shot. And well, the ping's got to get inside that to stay in the game. Has it done it? You know what, I'm going to have to give that as a draw. Definitely can't pick anything in between them two. So it's 2-1 up or 3-2 up for the Cleveland, whichever way you want to look at it. Come back now to about 50-60 yards away. On to round 5 now, the final round. Ping needs to win it to get a draw from the match. And the Cleveland either needs a draw or a win to be crowned champion. 
think there's a massive difference in height there. I think that could be quite close. So I don't know if you can see them with all the leaves about, but there's one that's about 15 foot away and one that's about 25 foot away. So let's go see which one is which. And on closer inspection, you can see that football style from a mile away. And that is the Cleveland at 25 foot away with the ping being just that bit closer. Now, I actually think it's a bit unfair to put it all down to just them five shots that I had there at the end. And if I was going to give you my personal opinion, after spending quite a lot of time using both of these chippers, I would definitely have to say that if you are looking for a new chipper because you really are struggling with your chipping, then I think it would be a no-brainer to lean more towards the Cleveland one. And then on the other side of things, if you're maybe looking for a chipper and your chipping isn't actually too bad, and you may be just looking for another option, or maybe you just like the idea of a chipper, then I think maybe the pin would then be a better option and that's because as I have mentioned the main difference between these two is that the Cleveland is just more like a chipper and it just does more for what it's actually designed for where the chip R is just almost like a normal wedge with a bit of a lower loft to it whereas and the reason why I prefer the Cleveland is is because of the extra loft on it that makes it perform a bit closer to a wedge which is what I'm personally used to for using around the green but the actual styling of the club is nothing like a wedge whereas the chip R is more like a wedge but it hasn't got the same loft but I also prefer the fact that the Cleveland is quite a bit shorter and as I mentioned as well before you do just feel like you get a lot more control over it that way but anyway that's been all for today in this video so thanks for watching as usual and I'll see you in the next one